all black and feeling godly. That's the look I'm thinking of when I think about this wig. This one comes from Soul Lady. They sent this gorgeous girl over as a beautiful pre-cut lace wear and go wig. I'm going to show you how I install her and get the vibes going for you guys. For beginners, we're going to do a bit of a layer, a custom hairline, and all of the above. Look how beautiful the highlights are. And she even holds a curl. So if you're interested in seeing how we got this look and vibing with your girl for the next few minutes, keep on watching. Catch that Beyonce glow. It is 6.37 and the sun is perfectly setting on this side of the house. One thing I dislike about where I live is that I don't get the good natural lighting that I crave. Manifesting a place with the perfect natural lighting like my old townhouse. That one we outgrew, but obviously the natural lighting was like priceless there. Today is Thursday and today is the blue moon. Gonna take my kids on a walk around the gated community um, if they're back awake. They've been sleeping so much when they get home from school, trying to adjust to the back to school schedule. But we are going for this beautiful wear and go wig. She comes all ready with a pre-cut lace, um, bust down middle part. Um, and then you guys can see she has this fun, super gorgeous highlight detail. It gives a beautiful vibe and it's the perfect, perfect occasion to wear for the blue moon. Going over there to look at it under the skylight and I'm going to see if we can manifest some beautiful things for me and my kids because I want to buy them a house. I want to put a big piano in the middle of the entryway and we're going to all learn how to play the piano. Manifesting traveling for me and the kids as well. So this is a look at the inside construction of the cap. I know I'm getting carried away but this is the look at the inside construction of the cap. We are rocking a breathable cap here so if you choose to wear this for your workouts or long busy days 12 hour shifts at work your braids won't sweat out and be stinky and then again it's a closure wig with a pre-cut lace and the lace does have that scallop cup cut which you may not be able to see that well but you'll see it better on on and then the back i've been liking to show you guys what the nape looks like because different companies have been doing different things with the nape lately and i like the fact that this one has um it does have the comb there but it doesn't have the adjustable straps instead it has this grip technology so it'll hug the nape really pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and put her on i think i said this already but it has the adjustable straps they are sewn in I feel like my head used to be tiny, but lately I can't take it too tight. So I usually would go halfway and see if I need to adjust from there. But I do love the fact that this is wear and go, so it's going to be simple and easy. Ooh. So this is what she looks like on, again, blue moon tonight. So this is the perfect, perfect occasion. Let me pan out for you. I love the fact that you have the fun highlight detail going into fall, winter, it's September, October is coming next month. This is like one of the perfect wigs where it gives the fall vibes. You guys know how like during fall Halloween season we are more likely to wear like our blacks and our, our burgundies and deep navy blue polish on our nails. This definitely goes with the aesthetic. It is a bust down middle part so you guys can see the beautiful detail there. Okay, so let's get, ooh, I look cute. So let's get started on the customization process. You guys know me, I'm a dynamic duo girl. I love to start with this step because this really sets the tone. My electric hot comb is set to 500 degrees and I'm gonna pair it with the wax stick and create magic. A buzz down middle part is meant to be neat and sleek and again, no lumps. So let me go ahead and just apply my wax. Also put a little in the front or a lot, work it in. Now let's go ahead and get it as smooth and as flat as we possibly can. Yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. Okay, voila, fantastico. I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace because the color is so dark and rich on this one. So I'm gonna use a Ruby Kisses in the shade 15. This is a cream foundation, and as you guys can see, it is darker than my complexion. Um, lately I've been liking to start here. Never start applying this at the very front instead go like a little bit further back so that um, if it's the wrong color you don't 
concentrate all of that product too far in the front you kind of want to blend extra or excess up front and you can build it if you definitely need more but it just is a lot more flattering that way next i'm going to go in and cut off the excess lace i think we deserve that you guys can see how super flat i got her and i love that for me i want to get high just want to get higher sometimes people will try to hold it back from me they did an amazing job without any help like i didn't do anything where they have this specifically covering up those tracks so this is the track and they kind of have it going downwards and they've already trained the hair here to cover which for sure gives more of a high quality look as well as a frontal vibe but let's get back into it okay so i'm deciding if i want to bond it down because this is a um pre-cut wear and go wig i feel like it's in my best interest to not bond it down but i want something going in the front i don't want it to just give like share you know like dark hair middle part so i am just adding a little bit of mousse i'm just going to mold it how i think i might like it and of course if i don't um i can change it but this is just going to give it some like edges opposed to baby hair and while that sets i'm going to go ahead and um customize the ends and see if I want to do anything different. I'm obsessed with these applesauces. Trader Joe's, the strawberry one and the mango one are my favorite. But this is apple peach from the Good and Gather line at Target. Pick these up because I was doing back to school shopping for the kids. And of course, they are Trader Joe's snobs. But these are fire. Me and Dominic have been the one eating these up. Okay, so I panned out so you guys can see the length a little bit. Let's go ahead and silk her out. I'm just going to add a little bit of lace tint. Obviously, I should have... Not a lace tint. I'm going to add a little bit of heat protectant. Obviously, I should have did this before I did the dynamic duo. But I always forget. So this looks amazing that looks even better than i expected and honestly i was expecting to have to go in and like tweak it but honestly i'm not gonna touch it at all this looks flawless and i did not bond it down again we used mousse which is a little swig that i have left this is the last bottle of mousse in my whole house which is crazy you know it's a blue moon tonight should we go check it out i just want to howl right now huh? I don't know, I just want to house. What? Should we add a little bit of layer? Or should we just bump the ends? I think I'm going to do something super simple and just bump the ends. So let's see how this goes. I'm just going to flip it around and slowly drag it down. And voila, it does add a curl or hold a curl rather. Again, I want long curls, so I'm not taking it high up. And I'm gonna try and do this in three big sections. And voila, we got curls at the ends. So I'm gonna add a heavy long layer. But I guess you're curious, huh? Okay, now that looks perfect and it's gonna drop perfectly. And that is the look. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of my powder along the hairline. And this powder is kind of like the matching or corresponding powder to the product we put on the uh, parting. 
both are makeup products okay so that's pretty much the look i'm gonna show you guys the packaging here how cute is this it came with a beautiful shopping bag and then inside of the bag you do have your um hair box white with the gold writing is so heavenly had a little safety thank you still there and then inside you do just get a couple of stuff so i showed you guys the nape um they did include an extra comb so if you want to sew this in at any area to make your wig fit nicely for you they did give you that option they also gave a dust bag super nice and then they also gave two options for the true scalp tape this one is way too light this one might be a good fit maybe it's too late I'm not sure but you know I can try this out in the future so yeah that's pretty much the look be sure to check out so lady I do have a direct link to this gorgeous beauty in the description box keep in mind she's a hundred percent glueless she's a wear and go you got to do minimal things to get her to look amazing especially during the coming fall season this is the perfect October vibe wig you are going to be October's very own for sure all black and feeling godly with this look I can just see it now you yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share with your friends. Check the description box for a link to this as well as all the things we use in this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!